Buenos dias fellow gamers, my name is Sid, how you guys doing? Today I do have another banger video for you, and this time it is about my lovely Smita Kabat. It loves playing, doesn't it? Why Smita? Because Smita is the ultimate loot king. A little while ago, I did like a very long survival run on Steel Path, and the amount of resources I got with my Smita is absolutely ridiculous. There was one time when I got like 32 steel essences from one acolyte. That's crazy. Now, sadly, I didn't capture this moment when I collected 32 at a time, but I found a picture on the internet slash reddit, and this picture shows that it's absolutely possible to get like 32 slash 40 steel essences at a time. As you can see, this guy was like defeating an acolyte and he got that amount of resources. Uh, it's, it's quite nice. Well, he was also writing down how that was possible, of course, a resource vent, weekend bonus, resource boost, so of course, the uh, lovely Smeet above. And, um, yeah. Here you can see another guy saying that he got, like, 36 from a 5-minute survival run. So, um, yeah, as you can see, with Smeet, anything's possible. When I did this mission back then, I was using my Revenant and, of course, my Smeet build. However, my Smeet build has actually updated. And I'm glad to share that updated Smeet build with you in just a second. As you can see, four and a half hours of survival and we got like uh, 1.7 million credits, it's not that much. But of course, the main thing we're focusing on are the steel essences, as we got like 474 and 158 of those ribbon slivers. Well, before I'm going to show you that, there's one short thing I want to mention. I do want to mention my collaboration with Bloodstained Games. They have made, in my opinion, a very good game, currently only available for Android. If you want to check out that game, feel free to do so, otherwise my Smita Kvart is going to eat you alive. By the way, I know my Smita looks like a Vasca, but that's just because it's a skin, but trust me, it's, it's a Smita. Okay. It's a Smita, and I love it. Either way, here's what you're going to see in the video. You're going to see some gameplay, you're going to hear me reflecting about the game, and to quote myself, actually, a great game. Give it a try. Let's get to it, let's get to the Smita build. Alright, so this is my favorite setup. For the main mod, Charm, Smita Kvad has a 28% chance every 27 seconds to bestow its own number of good fortune. There is a reason why I placed this mod at the first place, because sometimes, I don't know, it might just be a theory, sometimes I feel like the mod that you put in first place is gonna trigger first, most likely. However, this, can be, this cannot be true, but I don't know, I, I just feel like sometimes that's the case. As a second mod, we do have Tenacious Bond. Um, this is gonna give us a 1.2 final critical damage multiplier, but only if our companion's critical chance is above 50%. So how do we achieve that? Very simple, we just put in Bite. Fetched because I do have a fetish for this mod. Okay, well, never mind, that sounds wrong. You didn't say that. Tell me you did not just say that. <laughs> no, but seriously, collecting loot is so important for me. I just need this mod. This is a must-have. Another important mod that synergizes super well with Charm is Tech Enhance, as it increases your Kabat ability duration by 30%. So that means when you get a Smita buff, let's say like a critical buff or a resource buff or affinity buff or whatever, um, it stays longer, which is exactly what we want. Onto the health and armor mods. Well, there's a reason why I'm using Enhanced Vitality, because it always depends on your Warframe. For example, I do have Revenant Prime equipped right now. So as you can see, we have 1,365 health. If we equip Link Vitality, you're gonna see that my health is gonna drop. So it always depends on the Warframe and, um, well, it depends on the amount of health that your Warframe has. It's the same with the shields or the armor. So let's say you're using Inaros, then I would definitely go for a Link Vitality, as it's going to give your companion more health overall. However, if you use in a frame like Revenant, just like me, you can totally go for Enhanced Vitality. If you have a Warframe with uh, a lot of shields, like Hildren, you can definitely go for Link Redirection. Either way, for the other mods, I also have a Tech Assault, and this gives the Kavata 60% chance to ignore lethal damage and be immune for 4 seconds. So once we become immune, or once we get down, or whatever, we have this mod coming in handy, and it's called Medipet Kit. So this basically heals our companion, and also reduces our uh, companion recovery time. If you remember a little while ago, our companion was not able to recover, as you had to like manually revive him. But now he can just like recover, which is quite nice. Also, we have Primed Animal Instinct, because having that loot radar and enemy radar can be super, super cool. That's gonna do it for this video. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you awesome people in the next one.